The following program is presented by the Diocese of Venice in Florida. The Diocese of Venice in Florida presents the Mass. This morning, the TV Mass comes to you from Incarnation Parish in Sarasota, Florida. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Coming together as God's family, with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. My fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. When King David was settled in his palace, and the Lord had given him rest from his enemies on every side, he said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am living in a house of cedar, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, Go, do whatever you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that night, the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go tell my servant David, thus says the Lord, Should you build me a house to dwell in? It was I who took you from the pasture and from the care of the flock, to be commander of my people, Israel. I have been with you wherever you went, and I have destroyed all your enemies before you, and I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth. I will fix a place for my people, Israel. I will plant them so that they may dwell in their place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they did of old, since the time I first appointed judges over my people, Israel. I will give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you and when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me, your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. of the Lord I will sing 
sing forever. Through all generations, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven, you have confirmed your faithfulness forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, to him who can strengthen you according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery kept secret for long ages, but now manifested through the prophetic writings, and according to the command of the eternal God, made known to all nations to bring about the obedience of faith. To the only wise God, through Jesus Christ, be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed, to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called holy the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her, who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord to Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Well, I welcome each and every one of you here this morning. As we gather together, this is the fourth Sunday of Advent. So on this particular fourth Sunday being the 24th of December, we know that this evening will be the vigil for Christmas. So the fourth Sunday is really stuck in there in a, in a quick way, we celebrate this particular season as, as the reason for Christmas falling on a Monday. And for all of you and all of you specifically at home, I, I give you all my 
prayers and love as, as you, you are at home watching this particular celebration. And maybe you're a homebound or can't get to the, the local church, but we're here because of the TV Mass. The, it greatly affords us all to be in communion with one another. As we celebrate this fourth Sunday, we've lit the, the fourth candle, and we know that we've been, we've been going through the different readings every Sunday. And this particular Sunday, we bring us to the Annunciation of our Lord, the first joyful mystery. And we hear the Annunciation that our blessed Lord has been announced by God the Father and the Holy Spirit, that someone's coming, that Mary has been found favor with God, our, our God the Father has, has prepared Mary and Joseph from many years before to bring the child humbly into the world. And that's why the particular church here is called the Incarnation. The beautiful beauty of the Incarnation that we focus in on the fact that Jesus Christ became man. It's a, it's a magical time for, for children, I think, too, Christmas time. And it's, it's really, it has, it has a lot of the messages are caught up in the music and the art and the colors and the lights. So we reflect on that this particular year. As we started Advent this particular year, we, we looked a little bit at the O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. It's a beautiful song. It's an ancient song. It goes, really, the, the preparation, the lyrics for the song goes all the way back to the Old Testament. And they're called the O Antiphons. And right before Christmas, the seven days, these O Antiphons are particular hymns that are, are sung for the coming of Christ. And they're, they're beautiful in them. And, and one of them here was in David. David is the one that, one of the, um, one of the ideas is that, that from David would come the, somebody that would rule the, rule the earth, rule the world, that, that would that be the Prince of Peace and the, the King of the universe and the King of all nations, and that is Jesus Christ. And these particular O antiphons are, are very beautiful because they are, they are um, entrenched in the Old Testament. They're, they're all there. So we remember that in a, a special way as we, we sing that particular song and hear that song, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. And it goes on to a, a lot more of a beautiful uh, lyrics in that particular song. But on this particular day, we remember what Jesus Christ did for us, that God the Father sent his only begotten son into the world to save us, to heal us, and to give us hope, and to give us joy. And that's what this is, is a joyful season to celebrate. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us all stand and make a profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. The Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He is sent into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, seeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we prepare for the coming of the Lord, we offer to God our prayers for ourselves and for the whole world. For Pope Francis, Bishop Duane, all bishops, priests, and deacons, may they continue to lead the Lord's flock with patient love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may the Lord continue to help her grow in humble witness to his glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace and harmony in all nations of the world. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are suffering extreme pain or fear, may Christ the divine physician calm them and grant them peace of mind. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in the light of faith, May they forever praise the Lord in heaven with all the angels and saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in a special way for all those homebound on this day for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for the gift of life and of family. Answer all of our prayers and bring all people into your family of grace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. see the bread we offer you for the earth, the work of him and hands, and become our bread of life. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, good of all, this holy church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as he filled with his power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming, and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another some sign of peace. Peace with you, girls. Peace, guys. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to turn my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Fountain of redemption flowing from the Savior's side. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as on the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. presentation of the Mass is made possible by the generous support of viewers like you. To make a contribution to the televised Mass, please send a check to the Diocese of Venice, Care of TV Mass, 1000 Pine Brook Road, Venice, Florida, 34285. You can view this Mass again by visiting our website at dioceseofvenice.org and click on the televised Mass button.